What's going on here? Here we go. <clears throat> Four, three, two, one. We are live. Body language mastery. Quarter two. Lunch. Enrollment period is coming soon. It is less than a month and a half away. June 28th, June 29th, June 30th, July 1st, and July 2nd. It is your limited chance to get in under my direct coaching with this program. What this program includes is a one hour head to toe breakdown of the entire female body language. So you can look at what she is doing and understand what she is saying with her body. This will save you on dead end dates, you know, help you filter out people who are really care about you and really want to be in your life for you, or who are just after something that you have, whether it be you know, looks, money, status, one of those things. This helps you find the real deal. And just, it's the reddest pill you can get. In addition to that, you get webinar access to me. For one month, I do a webinar at night and day. Um, each member has four tokens. You can attend four webinars. However, as the last Body Language Mastery Education course went, a lot of the guys showed up eager wanting to learn more and more and more. So I just let them come. Some of those guys came to every session. Um, it just depends on how bad you want it. How bad you want to be tutored? How bad do you want to figure this thing out so you can move on with your life and sail off into the sunset to find your happy and fulfilling time on this rock? And it doesn't stop there. Third, and finally, you get access to the men's only Facebook group. Let me tell you something. The guys that I have in there, I have created, I have created something <laughs> that I did not expect to create. These guys are absolute animals. These guys are, they just needed a place to thrive. They needed a community to feel together and to feel not alienated for their red pill beliefs. I mean, basically the, the men's only Facebook group, whether you need fitness help, advice with cryptocurrency, dating, sex, text message game, profile management for all of your online dating needs, whatever it is, we have it. In this group, it is like the red pill Google. You type in your question and an army of red pill men come in and they tell you exactly what they think is the best line of action for you to take. And um, it is truly a fucking just great group. Got some primetime members in there. Big Googs in the house. Here's, he's our one of our moderators. I, Big Googs is actually the only moderator for the Facebook group. And Big Googs is... Um, he is a Navy SEAL, so you're in there with the creme de la creme. Let me call in real quick to Vlog Talk Radio and get this party started. Looks like the number changed. All right. Welcome to Vlog Talk Radio. Please enter your host pin. When finished, press the pound key. To start your show now, press 1 to hear important. Your show will go live in 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2, 1. Bada bing, bada boom. We are good to go. So, yeah. <clears throat> You get all of those perks, and it is coming June 28th, June 29th, June 30th, July 1st, July 2nd. It is $3.97 to get in the course. This is lifetime access, and man, oh, man, it is it is great to have a support group of guys in these, in these day and ages. These days and ages. My Lord, what is going on? And that's what we're going to talk about today. 
a little bit like what the heck is just going on and and the red pill reset why i recommend everybody take themselves a little red pill reset so i know you guys may have noticed uh since i came back from vacation uh i'm a little bit more chilled out right i'm not i'm not spitting fire and pissing vinegar and <laughs> just being an all-around wild one let me see here we go let me fire up. i'm firing up the instagram uh show as well Yeah, no, actually, it was good. Um, as you guys know, I went, on, I went on vacation to Vietnam. Um, I really pushed it hard that first, that quarter one uh, release for Body Language Mastery. I mean, you guys knew I was giving my 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 fucking heart and blood and my spirit to you, man. And speaking of which, um, for all you guys in the Body Language Mastery course, just so you know, um, starting... Tomorrow, which is Tuesday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, there will be webinars after every show, okay? After every show, even the Tokyo Crypto Show, um, there will be webinars of what is going to be happening in um, the Body Language Mastery Group. So for you guys that got in on quarter one, um, just doing a little follow-up, make sure everybody's doing okay. Been seeing a lot of activity in the Facebook group and just want to make sure I follow up and make sure everybody's uh, continues to get the coaching and development you need, okay? Because that's what I'm here for, okay? I'm here to help you guys out, okay? When you don't have help, when you don't have questions, I am of no value. So remember, that's why I'm here for. I'm here for you guys. So if you have questions, if you want to book a consultation, whatever, just holler at your boy. Let me know. Go to modernlifedating.com. Click on the link below. Uh, get on the waiting list for Body Language Mastery. It is seriously a life-changing course. You're not going to want to miss out. Um, you heard all the guys do all the positive consultations, positive uh, testimonies, the whole nine yards. So, yeah, that is how I can help you if you decide to want help. If you do not want help and you just want to sit here and listen, that's fine too. I'm okay to chatter your ears off. Like I said, I'm just getting back into the swing of things. Um, but yeah, I, I needed a red pill reset. I need a red pill reset. And before I go into today's message, let's check to the esteemed members of this community who have decided to chat. Uh, we got Ben Moose, what's up? Cody, what's up? Big Googs, what's up? Conk, what's up? John Shore, the love of my life. What's up, baby? I hope you're doing. I hope you're doing okay over there in merry old England. John Shore, John Shore, you always put a smile on my face. Hope you're doing okay, pal. Uh, Michelangelo, what's up, Michelangelo? Good to have our consultation with you the other day. Kong says, quit my job, got a new gig, but the job starts earlier in the day, so I can't do morning shows all that often. It's all good, Conk. You are a contributing member to the Manosphere, and everybody knows of you in the Red Man Group, so you are. Totally cool, brother. God bless. You're good to go. Um, John Shore, uh, it's 2 p.m. in the UK. Thought it was at the end. Nope, just getting started, buddy. Tommy B. Hama, do you have to be in that body language course to be in the Facebook group? I want to get into that shit. Yes, sir, you do. That is the truth right there. In order to be in the Facebook group, you've got to be in the body language mastery course after next year because I'm only letting in high quality men. Um, you know, we have Cultivate Crypto in there who he's been given some cryptocurrency information and he's meeting up with, uh, uh, Nick from New York. They're meeting up right now in uh, New York because Charlie's over there for the, uh, consensus event with cult uh, with the cryptocurrency and with Bitcoin taking off. And like this is said, another thing you guys, have, I've been telling you guys, you guys who are in the Facebook group, you guys, some of, some of you guys have made some money already. Because I've been telling you the private information about cryptocurrency in the Facebook group. Some of you guys, some of you guys have made over two thousand dollars already. Which I'm saying, you know, two thousand dollars, not a lot of money. However, you know, when it's pretty much for free, and um, you know, you, all you're doing is taking advice from me. I mean, the course, the quarter one guys, they paid two ninety seven. Now it's three ninety seven for body language mastery. I mean, they got their money's worth three times over. The course already paid for itself and some. I could delete the Body Language Mastery Facebook group to this point 
And all those men would have definitely gotten their value. And I can say it with a clear heart, with a clear, honest heart. Like, those guys definitely got their fucking values worth for me. Um, especially such a low price. Uh, such a low price. Um, let's go back here. Rainier, what's up, buddy? John Shore says, no mustache too after vacation. Just been on a healing retreat myself on the Greek island, Kefalonia. Wow, that sounds very nice. Healing retreat. That sounds very nice. I, I was kind of on my own little healing retreat. All I did on this vacation was just eat delicious Vietnamese food and inhale coconut water. Uh, ben Moo says, someone bring up Brie Larson so we can awaken Savage John from his slumber. <laughs> Vincent Vale, what's up, man? John Shore, I love you too, John. You better, goddammit. Ivor, what's up, baby? Ivor is uh, bringing in a hottie. Yeah, guys. So, okay. <laughs> oh, God. All right. So, l let me just talk to you about let me just talk to you about this red pill reset, okay? So, for those of you who follow me, actually, let me just pull it up right now, okay? Um, so for those of you guys that have a Twitter account, you know, please please follow me. Here's here's my Twitter. It is a uh, at Modern Life John J O N. Um, you know, I, I was on my vacation and, and what's up, Ryan, Ryan Stone's watching us on Instagram. Hello, sir. Um, so I was on the vacation and I really just unplugged. Like the only thing I really did was I kept shit posting memes, um, because I, on my Instagram for you guys to follow me at modern life dating, you see that I'm like constantly always posting memes that are like of red pill nature. Um, and then I, I got a little carried away, honestly, with um, with Twitter, right? Because you know, Twitter is just oh lord, Twitter can pull you in, man. I, I have I really have respect for the big guys that can like really, um, you know, control themselves a hundred percent with with their replies on Twitter. I'll be honest, like I I don't I, I'm like you guys know if there's one thing I am with you guys, it's a hundred percent honest. And honestly, I. I struggle with Twitter. Like I am getting, I am getting better. Um, I'm just learning to just, just to block and just move on and just, you know, just, you know, not deal with it. And because lately there's been a lot of like uh, red pill, red pill drama or whatever. And it's funny because I am not involved in it at all, but like just looking at it from an outside lens, it just really makes me realize like, oh my God, like, you know, this this uh this whole red pill online community stuff you know it, it can get you can get pulled into it and uh you know i mean I, I mean look at me i i feel like i look younger and look healthier like since i since i took a little bit of time off like i, I really feel like i just uh i feel like a million bucks to be honest i took some time off well needed and that's what I would like to tell everybody. It's like, you know, don't be afraid to take a, a red pill reset. Uh, like, especially because Ryan's in here right now, uh, Ryan Stone. He mentioned something on his Twitter. He said something like, you know, it's I go doing blue, I do um, doing blue pill stuff with my blue pill friends. And like, honestly, it's okay. Like, it's okay to have some like normie time. Okay. And, um, you know, I, I just think like you can't just always be on. You can't be like, oh, I'm, I'm fucking alpha. I'm like, ah, I'm I'm, I'm deadlifting three fifteen and and I'm squatting five hundred and like just constantly be this this fucking like red pill lunatic, right? <laughs> and so, like you know, just just think about it. Like sometimes it is not a bad thing to. Do what I call a red pill reset. And what is a red pill reset, right? Red pill reset is just 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 unplugging. You know, I, I was so worried, right, to take time off. I was like, man, you know what? My audience is going to leave me and uh, nobody's going to think I'm relevant anymore and my whole business is going to fall apart, whatever, right? Like that's literally like part of me that was like freaking out. But at, at the same time, I've been so resilient in life and every single obstacle that has come my way, I have conquered it. So it was just kind of illogical to come to that sort of conclusion. Now, now logically speaking, yes, 
Um, did I take a hit in my numbers? Absolutely. Uh, my analytics went down because it's the bo that's just uh, it's the bottom life. Okay. Um, oh, somebody Sin Anasari Chikli says it's exhausting, man. No matter how tough you think you are. Yeah, and then actually Googs and I had a conversation about this too. Like, you know, nobody can be a tough guy all the time. Now, um, Conk, I followed you on Twitter. <laughs> Thanks for the update, Ivor. Um, but yeah, you know, and part of me was just like, oh, you know, shit, is my brand going to fall apart, whatever. But at the end of the day, the people that want to be here are here. And, you know, I'll keep showing back up. And uh, I will be continuing to continue on but yeah like getting getting too caught up in this whole red pill stuff like uh in regards to like just like like always having to like be like this overly compensating masculine version of yourself like it's not real it's just not real like you've got to you've got to take some time off and enjoy your life like, you know, when I was on a trip, listen, guys, I wasn't I wasn't counting calories. Um, I definitely wasn't checking my watch. I wasn't I did a couple of live streams because I, I truly love like I love the guys in my audience that like always hit me up. Like, you know, like fucking my boy Peter. Peter Peter was like went with me to Vietnam because he was like on my social media and then he was on my Twitter. And um, I actually engaged with Peter a lot. Peter, you still have to do your consultation with me, buddy. By the way, um, and, uh, you know, I, I just completely detached from it all. And like, I, I went on, I went on the post, uh, post red man group show with Donovan and, um, and Steve, the Dean, you know, just to like, go see what was going on and, and kind of keep, keep up with them. I really like Steve, the Dean and Donovan as people. Um, uh, they're actually, you know, I've talked with those guys offline and, uh, they're very, very nice people, very very good good people, especially Donovan. A lot of people give Donovan shit, like sometimes shit for being too hot headed or whatever. But at the end of the day, um, Donovan is is a fucking good man with a good heart. Like he you know, he he has these dogs that he fucking takes care of them so hardcore. So like you know, you, I can't look down on anybody that sincerely cares and loves for animals, right? Uh, especially like dogs and cats. So. Um, I kept in kept in touch with him, and um, you know, just because they're my pals. But for the most part, I just kind of pulled out away from the uh, the red pill thing, and it was really good. It was really really good. Um, you know, and you need it. You need it because there's more to life than just like constantly getting out there and like just trying to get tons and tons of pussy and stuff like that's not the that's not the thing of this channel okay this channel is, is three part it's modern life dating modern what's going on with today that's why we talk about cryptocurrency that's why we talk about media censorship you know we talk about what's going on with modern modern times right we talk a little bit about fashion you getting your hair cut right you guys know i do the consultations with you make sure you look fly when i when i talk to you on the on the video chat i'm like turn on the camera and let me just see how you uh, how you look so I can get a better read for you. You know, life, when we talk about fitness, health, finances, okay? And then dating, the sex, the, the understanding sexual marketplace, and all these things in regards to dating sex, how to have sex, how to give good sex, et cetera, et cetera, right? So modern life dating is a three-part thing. Modern for modern times, life for life, fitness, and health and dating for dating, love, and relationships. So don't, I, I don't want you guys to like, you know, don't get it twisted because, you know, you can burn out. You definitely can burn out. And I have burned out as well. Actually, tomorrow's episode is going to be about, um, you know, the, the patterns of red pill burnout. But I've been keeping it all natural, just hanging out recently drinking coconut water as you guys know i went out that one night because i i read the charts with bitcoin what's bitcoin at right now let's see because you know charlie and i yeah you see so you guys saw i went out to drink the other night right i did because i i i knew bitcoin was going to do something big 
and uh, wild. So I knew it right around 6,000, I bought one Bitcoin. And so I bought one Bitcoin at 6,000, uh, was it 6,000? Yeah. No, I, how much did I put? Yeah, I put a, it was like Bitcoin was, yeah, Bitcoin was 6,000 when I bought in. So Bitcoin was 6,000 when I bought it. I bought a full, another full Bitcoin. So now I have several. Um, I'm not going to say how many, but I have a few. And I, off of that purchase, I already made $1,385 in one week, right? Now, not a lot of money, but I'm just saying like, you know, there are multiple aspects to my life and there should be multiple aspects to your life too. You shouldn't just be sitting around like, oh, am I fucking alpha enough? Like, oh, fuck, God damn it. I'm not alpha enough. Fuck this life. You know, it's, it's, uh, it goes way, way deeper than that. So I went out, um, I went out with Charlie and fucking Charlie got confiscated by somebody and uh yeah so anyways that was the only thing I, i've been in regards to like me like going out i'm still like weaning back off of vacation um the last three days i've just kind of been taken off and kind of just taking it easy um but yeah like you know you have to have other things going for you and um being being constantly caught up in this in this kind of lifestyle of social media influencing and the, you know, the, the self-development part, which self-development is ongoing. Like, even though I've been, um, kind of MIA, you know, I went to, um, the gym today and I've been kind of taking it easy. I've been doing like this light fasting. I haven't been eating too much just drinking a lot of coconut water. Um, had, had a salad and, uh, just kind of just like, you know, rebalancing yourself because to be constantly online, like it, it can be a little bit of a, a little bit of an exhausting thing, right? And you will, you will burn out eventually because it's like, it's like constantly like, it's constantly people just try, it's like, it's a dick measuring contest almost. And like some people are getting so carried away with this shit. They're actually legitimately scamming people ramadan vibes here around turkey oh what's up i didn't know you're in turkey bro cool good stuff but yeah and i'm reading reports now of like you know some scam stuff going through and like i just i don't understand what everybody's just trying to do but anyways yeah um but that's why i i recommend this red pill red pill reset have way more things going on. Excuse me. Have multiple things going on in your life, okay? Because constantly um, just obsessing over red pill stuff is going to make you crazy. Like, you know, like some guys, okay, here's a perfect example. Okay, I was going to do this right away, but fuck it. Let's just jump right into it. Okay. So now I'm not... Um, I'm not, uh, I'm not talking about like in a bad way about this guy. Okay. Um, but for those of you guys who are, you know, in this sphere, there has been a guy who has been in this community, more of the PUA side, just as a pickup artist guy. Okay. And his name is Roosh. And I don't know if you guys have been watching him lately, but Roosh V has been kind of having like a public meltdown on camera. Um, this is a guy who basically his entire life just chased women abroad. He didn't think much about the future. He just chased women um, and, and there's some things I want to bring up that I've, I've caught about uh, his body language is one of his videos here. And again, I'm not bad mouthing the guy, but I'm just saying like this is an example of what happens when you get too crazily caught up in this red pill stuff. OK, so let me take a look here. L let's just listen to what he has to say. I just want to pay attention to this. OK. OK. I watch his stuff because um, obviously it he's part of our sphere. He does have influence. 
But for you guys that know what's been going on with him, so Rushvi has been a pickup artist his whole life, and he has been talking about picking up women and sleeping with women and writing against degeneracy and like how women of the of the west are degenerates and they're all devolving into degenerate whores and yada 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 that's his spiel right and uh now he's taken this whole 180 spin and he is talking about how we all are getting ready to approach the end of the world and the antichrist is coming now, i'm not joking he, he is straight up he is quoting the Bible in his his feeds. I personally think he's copying me. <laughs> uh, but let, let's just take a listen to his. This is one of his most recent rants on his show, uh, Rush Hour, which I do recommend watching. I, I don't I, – I, I have to specify again that I'm not talking shit about this guy, but I am making a, a rational analysis – of what has happens to a guy when you get too carried away into this red pill stuff and you don't actually build a life for yourself outside of this whole red pill community stuff. Let's take a look here. Tell me if you can hear it. On your hand. It's a literal mark. Okay, hold on. They're warming us up. I'm sure you've heard of this, uh, the mark of the beast. Now, a lot of people think the mark of the beast is going to be a chip or something, but no, it's a tattoo that you get on your forehead or you get on your hand. It's a literal mark. I was on, after, I was on Instagram today and I wanted to promote my live stream. And then I see that they have a filter uh, that allows you to put Zodiac signs on your face. One of the Zodiac signs is Taurus, a bull. So let's take a look at that. So as you guys know, like I... I quote the Bible and stuff comically, but he's actually doing it. And again, I'm not I'm not insulting the guy, but like we are witnessing a public meltdown of a guy who has been he's 39. Now he's had sex with all these different girls and um or so he says. And now he's having like this biblical breakdown. He's like a woman that like goes and sleeps around a lot and gets treated like shit by a bunch of men and then like decides she's going to be saved by finding the Lord. So here is me with this simulated mark of the beast. Why is this a filter? Who would do this? Why would anyone want to do this? But let's see how I felt while having this mark on me. <laughs> it doesn't get more evil than this. Instagram's new filter puts the mark of the beast on your face. This is pure evil. I wish I stayed banned. Have you noticed that face tattoos are becoming trendy? That's the warm up. That's the warm up when people get the mark of the beast tattooed on their forehead. There will be little resistance. Everything that's happening today is a warm up. It's acclimatizing you to the great tribulation so that i don't okay so just talk about body language analysis real quick that really that sent that's i don't know if you guys picked that up but that is a really big red flag for me let's watch it one more time okay when he talks about this when he talks about the great tribulation coming i don't I, i'm probably nobody's picked this up in the manosphere but <clears throat> Maybe, I, yeah, the body language experts are few and far between, but look, let's check this one more time. Resistance. Everything that's happening today is a warm-up. It's acclimatizing you to the great tribulation. You see, he his mouth kind of twitched a little bit, and he looked down and away, and now he's looking away from the camera. This seems like some sort of dishonesty or some side of, side of deceit 
I don't I don't find it honest. Something he is doing is uh, shady. So I don't know if he's playing up this God angle as sort of marketing ploy or whatnot. But like I said, this is what happens when you do not build a, a life outside of the red pill. Let me go check the chat, see, it's all, see what everybody's doing. Who wants to check out my youthful glow? <laughs> uh, let's go and see. Uh, Jason Goodwin, what's up, my friend? How are you, sir? I hope you're doing okay. Wow, 41 people. You see, I was freaking out on vacation that like I would not get over 25 viewers at a time taking this time off so honestly if you could hear me right now seriously thank you so much thank you thank you for being patient with me thank you for always coming back thank you um the law the phone lines open on free free consultations every show every single show i mean you guys know i am here for you guys and you guys only 657-383-1318 just call in even if you, even if you just want to say what's up call in um but seriously, thank you guys um, so much. So, so, so much. Seriously, seriously. It is truly, it's truly humbling um, to, to come back to a warm reception. And I know I'm acting like I'm hot shit with like, you know, 40 viewers or whatever. But for me, that's a lot. For me, that's huge. And, and for me, I, I appreciate it. I really, just truly, truly, truly do. Um, let me check the chats and then we're gonna we're gonna go and talk a little bit more about our buddy here having a meltdown. Okay. Um, John says, John Shore, the one and only. I was surrounded by feminine energy on the retreat. Three men plus fifteen women, and it was lovely. I liked your chilled energy post vacation, John. Thank you, John Shore. I I also was surrounded by feminine energy. I was in Vietnam and I got something called the forehand massage. And it's when you have two Vietnamese ladies massage you at the same time. It was phenomenal. It was absolutely phenomenal. It was so good. Um, it was me and a lucky lady that I was with. And so she was on the bed with her two ladies. I was on the bed with my two ladies. So, as you know, not trying to brag, but when I was on vacation, I was in a massage room with five ladies and just me. <laughs> hey! <laughs> and that's not even like one of those fake red pill brags. That's like really a real deal. Um, no, it's good. It's good to get out and chill, chill out for a while. It's good. Uh, Ivor says, it is full on gobshites but if you know what you want and filter for that there's a lot of very information very use, useful information there what do you what are you talking oh you probably talk about twitter jesus we're at 47 people now thank you all unbelievable thank you i'm just so shocked that everybody's coming back truly thank you guys so much um Conk says, as long as you understand the basics of macronutrients, you don't really need to count calories. Uh, if you want to be in really good shape, you got to count calories. There's just no, unless you have those, like one of those people who are just like genetically always have six pack, you need to count calories. That's for sure. Donovan is much better on the red man. Now he is so, the controller, so to speak. Suits his personality to be more involved than sitting in the background. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. You got to give him something to do or he's going to go do something, you know? <laughs> I love Donovan. Lou Piazza, what's up, Lou? Let's get started on your consultations this week. You got a four-pack of consultations from me. I will hook you up. Count Yoli, what's up, man? Um, Rainier agrees with Ivor. He says, oh, the show is much tighter with him hosting. Absolutely. We had a little private vote behind the doors of, like, who should run the Red Man Group. And I was just like, guys... We would all be fools if we did not put Donovan in charge because he he runs that shit like a military ship. Uh, ben Moon says, I bought four Bitcoin in 2016 for 450 each. Wow. Sold at 750 because I needed money at the time. Hearing the current price is hurt. You got to hold long term for Bitcoin. It's long term. I put in, I'm not going to talk about how much I put in, but when I put that money in, believe you me, 
Part of me clinching that money at the register. <laughs> Because in Japan, you can buy uh, Bitcoin using cash transactions through the convenience store. So that's why I do a lot of those. So it's off the books. Oh, just joking. Pay your taxes, gentlemen. No, I'm just joking. I pay all my taxes. I'm the, I'm the legit. Ivor says, yeah, a lot of misinter people misinterpret his enthusiasm for trying to AMAG the other, pe AMOG the other people on the show. You can see... You can see he's prepared for it and keeps it structured on the program and well organized. Yes. Yep. Roosh was on Donovan's show lately. Yeah, he was. Blue hair. Let's post to the lake of fire, baby. <laughs> All right, Isaac. Get them likes up, says Abundance. Yeah, guys. Uh, 44 people watching right now. Click like, please. 45. Woo, buddy. I'm happy. 19 likes. Yeah, if you just click like, please. Um, that would be really, really great. Thanks so much. Something's fucky. One. I don't know what that means. Listening while doing exercise. Getting my body and mind buffed at the same time. Yes, sir. Was there a happy ending? No, there was not. There's no happy ending. Um, yeah, you know, that's another thing. When I went to Vietnam, it really gave me a, a, just a perspective of life. Um, you know, it, it's just... Uh, it's a very, very... Um, it was a very, very sobering trip. Very, very sobering trip because, you know, one of the, like, one of the things when I went into like, so I, I told you guys where I went, right? Um, I went to this island called Phu Quoc, right? And Phu Quoc is like, it, it was it was wild. Let me pull up the map here again. Okay. Okay. All right. So let me give you a little give you a little geography lesson here. So. Okay. Start out Tokyo, and I took the bullet train to Osaka. And then from Osaka, I flew out from KIX Kansai international airport and i flew all the way about five hours to ho chi Minh, right it's on ho chi Minh, and then we were we had spent a couple days in ho chi Minh, and then i booked us a resort one day or well, two days really but uh when we flew out there our flight was four hours delayed so we sat in the fucking airport for four hours uh so i flew from ho chi Minh to here fukuok and so when i was on this island so we get here the airport's like right here and then we had to take about an hour trip to our resort, which is like right around here. And um, on the way there, just like seeing like the poverty and stuff on the island just made me realize like, Jesus, how good we have. It. Like the people on this island, like they make maybe $200, $300 a month. And it, it li like they're, they're, they're living fine. They're, it's a little wild. Like when I was right, we had to ride this this road here. This was one little winding road, and on the way there, like I just saw random parts of the country on fire. Like there's just like a huge fire, and not like a small fire. Like like a, a half of a block of foliage was on a huge fire. Like at least like five foot tall fire, and I'm, the guy's just like, yeah, we just taxi drivers just riding. Like yeah, maybe I shouldn't shouldn't hit that. That would be a good idea. Um, and, you know, when I was getting a massage, I saw some chicks working in the massage parlor. And it was a legit massage parlor. It wasn't, like, some shady-ass, like, sex-based massage parlor. But, like, you know, one of the girls working there was, like, probably like 15 years old. And so, you know, you, you, you get on this website. You get on fucking Twitter. Like, like, let me get on Twitter right now. Let me just see. Okay. Okay. So you get on Twitter. I just see. Let's see who's uh, our, our red pill peoples. Right? Okay, make sure free. So, obviously, you follow some financial stuff. But, you know, on everybody on Twitter is just, like, trying so hard to to, to prove themselves. Like, uh, where is this one guy? The, what's this guy? This guy cracks me up. The Great Gatsby or whatever. This guy. 
this guy is like, this guy claims to be a millionaire and posting all these stuff. And he's just like, he's just talking about like, you know, how, how you just got to be absolutely alpha and you got to like, uh, he's apparently a millionaire. This guy's apparently a millionaire and he's a red pill content creator, right? An anonymous entrepreneur, not selling anything. So then you're not an entrepreneur if you're not selling anything. Okay. And this guy just constantly has to like be online, just like ranting about how 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 alpha he is and how amazing he is and blah 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 this guy really cracks me up he really really cracks me up so when you see people like that and then you go out into the real world see like people really suffering and stuff like with this red pill stuff you just have to draw a line in the sand as to where you want to be and where you want to achieve and uh you know you have to like get goals for yourself like what do you want like you can't just be constantly in this red pill shit like like just raging all the time like so angry and like wanting to do like you know oh i, I need to be i need to hire deadlifts and i need this i need that because eventually you're going to come to a point where you know living like that is kind of isolating and in, in itself okay um you know, you have to you have to find something that is fulfilling as well. Like, you know, the red pill is a good way to unfuck your life. If your life is all fucked up, like if you're big, you're fat, you're out of shape, you got no money, you know, if you got a lot of these problems that you're trying to get fixed in your life, you know, the red pill is a good place to find a mentor, good place to find somebody to make something happen in your life if you want to make a change. But to constantly be in this lifestyle, like, you know, and just like, just, you know, just circle jerking and talking about how awesome you are all the time. Like, one, it doesn't seem very believable. And then two, at the end of the day, what does that bring you? Like, that, I've seen those kind of guys and, and the other side of the life is not happy. The happiest people aren't on the internet tweeting about it and, and be like, oh, I'm so fucking happy and blah, blah, blah. Like. When I was in Vietnam having a great time. Oh, dude, Patrick Bateman. I was just thinking about you. Is that is that Irish Patrick Bateman? Is that you? Is that Irish Patrick Bateman? Is that you, guy? My boy who's always in the chat. Patrick Bateman, 96. Let's see. I'd rather listen to Roosh V. Nick Krauser. Uh, rather, rather listen to Rushvi than Nick Krauser. Well, uh, Nick Krauser's weirdo. Great advice, dude. Glad to see you back. Thank you, projectiles. Ivar, the boneless, says Rush is acting like Alex Jones plus shitty preacher. There you go. Uh, Winston Wolf says I did that red pill OD shit too. Great way to get spurgy. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like you know. Another thing is like a, a lot of these guys that are doing this constant like red pill overdose, like, oh, I'm so alpha. Oh. Like a lot of these guys are truly just unhappy inside and they don't like themselves. That's that's a big that's a big thing right there. OK, because you can't just like you can't just be in this sphere just to be in this sphere forever. I mean, there are people who are. But, you know, there's there's more to life, guys. There's more to life. Like, if you... I'm not telling you what you need to do. But I am saying, like, you know, sitting around and, and you know, trying to be super alpha, king of the fucking alpha males all the time. It gets exhausting for you. And also, it gets exhausting for the people around you. Oh, Sachin, what's up, bro? I haven't seen you in a while, man. Hope you're doing good with your... Uh, your whole fucking badass uh, pain medicine career. Kwana Bena says, what's up? I think a lot of us done it. Yeah, I, I have too. I have too. Um, you know, I was, you know, I was pretty hyped up because I get hyped up though. I don't get hyped up to like, to prove you guys. Um, I don't think I get hyped up to prove to you guys anything. Like, what do I have to prove to you guys? You're a bunch of 
uh, strangers to me. You know, like, you know, the guys from the Body Language Mastery course that we talk face to face, we're in the Facebook group. That's a little bit different. But um, yeah, the, that's really at the bottom line is those guys, you know, they don't have much going for them. That's why they have this anonymous account. That's why they're, they, they just don't love themselves, it seems. So they don't have enough uh, validation. So they need to post it all the time online. Donovan Sharp is in the house. What's up, Donovan? I was, we were talking about you earlier in a, in a very positive way as usual. Um, but yeah, you know, these guys, like if they're not, if they're not presenting the red pill content as like a way to market something or sell something, right? Like how, I don't understand how you can really trust them to an extent. And then because, uh, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're like a guy, if you're like, if you've been around really, really successful people, right? Like $300,000 a year plus, right? From that board, that board. Act two hundred fifty, two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year, moving forward. Okay. It's like, eh, you your time is super super valuable, and you have a very structured, and very, uh, very rigid way of living, right? Because you have to maximize every single hour, which is in the twenty four hour plane, right? And these guys who claim to be like. I, I make seven figures, I make six figures, I'm a fucking uh, super red pill entrepreneur, but they don't post any proof or they don't post any 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 type of like anything that can be like concretely proving that that they're living this success, they're probably not. They're they're probably not. And so yeah, it's just it's just it's it's always a good time to when you see those types of accounts, you know, cuz a lot a lot of what a lot of what is fueling the uh red pill community and it, it's two things. It's guys who are sincerely trying to uh improve themselves and guys who are insecure. Okay? And it is what it is. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with being insecure. Okay? Yeah, exactly. Donovan Donovan said it perfectly right there. He says, I make 10 figures, I have a 10-inch cock, I have 10 wives, and 10 girlfriends. And I I never prematurely ejaculate. I have never overdrafted my bank account. I have always paid my bills on time. I have never slipped up and got a little fat. Uh, none of this. Like Just like constantly fucking just talking about how great they are. And it's not real. It's not real. I'm telling you guys, it's not real. Um, so just be aware is what I'm talking about. And I kind of got caught up there. Let me catch up with the chat here now. Um, yeah, Sachin said, who is this Pat Stedman guy I keep hearing about? Pat Stedman is a, is a, a masculinity coach, a dating coach, who filmed himself crying after Donald Trump won the election and uploaded it. And he's constantly telling guys it's okay to be in touch with your feminine side and stuff like that. Like, I, again, you don't need to be a badass all the time, but it takes a certain level of uh, cognitive dissonance to take a camera, film yourself crying, and then upload it to the internet, and then and then talk about like you know masculinity and stuff like uh, it's, it's, that's just. Oh, it's just so funny. Oh, it looks like we got a caller on the line. Let's see who it is. Let me fire up this thing real quick. Wait. Hey, caller, you're on the air. Yeah, I'm the guy with the uh, with the ten inch cap, with ten figures, who has ten wives and ten girlfriends. I've never ever fucked up in life. I'm always in top peak physical condition. But the reason I don't have proof is I just don't feel like it, right? I'm an alpha. I shouldn't have to prove anything to you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you live in a, I, you're calling from like a mansion under a mountain of cocaine and, and strippers and, and, uh, and champagne and, oh, and TRT dude. and all that, right? Starface style. <laughs> Goddamn right. No, listen, all, all, all jokes aside, John, um, you make a very, very good point. Um, and we actually talked about this on the Red Man group in terms of 
um, you know, hey, you know, if, 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 if a guy makes money off of the red pill, then you can't really trust what you think. Oh, so you're telling me that you can't trust, uh, you can't trust a car salesman? Right. Right? Now, of course, you know, the car, <laughs> now, now, of course, price-wise, you can never trust a car salesman. But just because he's selling you something doesn't mean it doesn't work. And at the end of the day, John, nobody works for free. Like Richard Cooper, he said it best when we were at the 21 convention. Nobody works for free, man. Yeah. Like, that's, this is how this goes. And specifically the, and I don't want to take all the air out of the room. Take it all out, baby. This is all you. Specifically the millennial generation. <laughs> all right? Specifically what I found is that the millennial generation, not to bag on those guys, but millennials are ADD. They want everything right here, right now, and they want it for free. But here's the thing. Here's the flaw in there. Oh, you Red Bull guys shouldn't be making money. There is more free Red Bull content online than content you have to pay for, yeah. right? So go listen to that content. If you guys want to, if these guys want to bitch and moan about us making money off this stuff, go. Why don't Why don't you go and listen to that content? Oh no, no, no. You want to know why they bitch about our content? Because they like our content and they want it for free. Ninety percent of the con- of, of the content we make is for free. But because the content we produce is top-notch, it takes a lot of time. And we have to be compensated for our time. Nobody works for free. Yep. If something costs me $100 to produce and I get $100 in revenue, I break even, right? Everybody wins. Wrong! I break even means I lose. I'm never getting that time back. So I hope that, I hope that kind of explains to guys, hey, like there's nothing wrong with making money off doing something that you love to do that people actually want to buy. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. And and honestly, too, like, I don't know, because I know you do consultations like me. And um, I don't know, for, for me, a- after, like, 10, 15 consultations, like, I'm emotionally drained. I need to, like, take a moment to, like, sit down and, and go look at some flowers or some shit. Because, like, guys come to me with some heavy qu- – I don't know if they come to you <laughs> with heavy stuff, but they come to me from some heavy stuff sometimes, so – you know, it, it's it's not all sunshine and oh, rainbows sure. to do what we do. No, it's 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 not. And listen, I mean, I'm not asking anyone to cry for us, right? I mean, right. This is this is what I do for a living, and it is what I love to do. But that doesn't mean that there aren't some drawbacks that come with it. And yeah, I deal with some heavy shit too, man. I dealt with one guy who was on the verge of suicide because he found out that his wife of I think twelve years had been cheating on him. It got worse, okay? All of his four children, two of them were not his. Oh. It gets worse. Those two had two different fathers. So he's got four kids who had three different fathers, man. This guy, I mean, dude, this guy was on the verge of, he was, he was about to kill himself. Like, we had to really get serious with it. Yeah. Like, suicide prevention hotline. The point is, is that, yeah, we, we do deal with some serious shit. Well, by the same token, man, I mean, I don't think anybody, I don't think anyone has a problem with anyone making money off consultation. Right. I think what they have, what they, what they say they have a problem with is this tactical soap, this 21 convention. And, Don, you want to know something? This is just envy, right? Yeah. Because uh, most red pill guys, most purveyors of the red pill, their only community is online. Yeah. They want to be a part of this offline red pill community, but they either can't or they won't. So they talk about the guys that do. And to those guys, I say go fuck yourself, man. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's that's what I'm talking about today. Like, you know, I've come back. It's like my second show since my vacation. And I'm a lot, I'm a lot more chilled out because I needed it. You know, I just talk. I was telling the guys today overall, like, sometimes it's good. And you're the one who told me this because I actually told you. I was like, hey, I'm starting to feel like I'm burned out. And, and you, like, you and Devin went to Atlanta, Atlanta yeah. City for like a week, right? Yeah, we went there for a weekend, and uh, yeah, I just I had to take a break because I was. I mean, dude, I worked all through the all through Thanksgiving, all through Christmas, dude. I was doing consultations into the dozens. Yeah, sometimes you need a little bit of a reprieve, man. Yeah, yeah, I saw you went to Disney too. How was that? You enjoyed it? Yeah, dude, that was a fucking blast, man. Holy well, shit! Why did you um, choose Epcot? Yeah, yeah, I can't even. I can't even begin to explain. Oh, uh, just just how? Why did I do Epcot? I, yeah, why did you choose Epcot? Uh, because that was the most adult. I didn't want to be around a bunch of fucking kids. Like, there were kids there, but there were attractions at the Epcot. Like, we did the test track that was awesome. Mission to Mars was awesome. Dude, soaring around the world was out of this fucking world. 
<laughs> I didn't want to be around the Mickey Mouse and the Donald Duck and the Princess Jasmine. I didn't want to be around these future, you know, listen, all these little girls went around with their little princess tiaras. I'm like, Did all these, I don't want to be surrounded by all these future hoes. So I figured I'd just do Epcot, be the adult, and get the fuck out of there. <laughs> oh, it's fucking hilarious. Hey, man, I'm, listen, I'm just keeping it 100. No, I feel you. I feel you. I love it. I love it. Well, listen, dude, thank you so much for calling in. Um, good, to, good to be back in touch with you. Of course. And, um, yeah, we'll be in touch. Um, maybe I'll come over to your show and, and do some stuff for the quarter two launch. And, yeah, I think it'll be a good time. Let's do it, man. We'll talk soon. All right. Have a good day. All right, bud. All right. That's our man Donovan from the Donovan Sharp Show. Uh, you can catch Donovan in the afternoons now. He he does his show. He's part of the Red Man Group with me, and um, I'm part of the Red Man Group with him rather. And um, yeah, he he does his own show, and like even he has to go take a a little little red pill reset. So you know it's it's just normal. He's normal. He's normal. My Anderson Silva. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let me catch up here. Uh, Trophy Dolphin says, I feel like if you're happy, you don't need validation from other people by posting on social media. You must enjoy the moment. And as far as millionaire would be, they would be on, as far as the millionaire, would they be on Twitter all day if he's legit? No, millionaires don't have time to be on Twitter all day talking about how great they are. Um... Sachin seems to be killing it with work. Oh, Project Les, what's up? Uh, Bad Boy DTV, Salubra, what's up, dude? Um, Project Les, I can imagine. It's so funny to see you in action. You must nearly next as much men as women now. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I think he's talking about it. Christian Soto, what's up, buddy? Pimp and Scout. Preach, good to see you living the life. Karma is real. Pimp is scout. Is that, are you who I think you are? Are you the Ukrainian guy from back in the day? I was actually thinking about you the other day. Pimp and scout, let me know if that's you. Oh, look at that. George Bruno's in the house. What's up, Georgie? Old George Bruno. Welcome, sir. Welcome to my humble abode where I just want to talk to the, to the gents about, you know, not everything is about Calling, you know, and being all Mr. Alpha 24 hours, 365. Shit is exhausting. Bruno, if you want to call in, why don't you call in? You're a very wise man. Um, if you have an opportunity, if you'd like to call in, I think I would like to ask you some questions and the gentleman could benefit from it. Now, George Bruno is a professional actor and he is also a professional. Uh, I believe he does a lot of voice acting as well. And he does all the interviews for the 21 convention. A man who is very wise, um, good stuff. Yeah, give me a call in if you want to, brother. 657-383-1318. And also, Pimp and Scout. Jesus, wow. Call in, contacting me. Last time we were in contact was 2015. That was four years ago. And uh, yeah, Pimp and Scout actually has some rock-solid game. Rock-solid game that's been lost. And there's there's... The, the 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 art of game with him has been completely lost and he actually knows his shit so yeah pimp and scout send me an email or something bro let's get in touch would love to catch up with you again thank you for coming back um there's no crying in baseball true MGTOWs have 10 figures and are in love with five of them that's funny i have no problem with MGTOWs. at least they're doing something vincent vale says you don't have to be a badass all the time but you should never act like a bundle of sticks very true very true. John Shore, I last 10 hours in the bedroom. You have to be more masculine than your lady. Yep. I'm actually constantly erect at all times. Just actually. FYI. <laughs> uh, distinguished audience we have today. Yeah, I know. We got all the big, all the heavy hitters. Love your shaving video. Now, whenever I shave, it doesn't look like I was trying to kill myself with a razor. That's funny. Gotta go, lad, says Ivor. Atrocious, what's up? Welcome back. Hey, thank you. All right, guys. Well, that yeah, I think that's going to do it. That's my hour. Um, thank you all for calling and listening. Um, if you find this message of value and you want to buy me a pizza. <laughs> no, I'm not doing pizzas anymore. But uh, if you want to send me a donation, streamlabs.com forward slash modern life dating channel. Click on that link. Um, this show is completely kept abroad 
and afloat by viewers like you. Thank you guys so much for all of your uh, love and support, all the emails, all the social media. Thank you all. Um, I will be back tomorrow talking about the cycles of red pill burnout. And um, it's a cycle of like extreme hard work, uh, gluttony, recession, and then it's, it's a three-part circle. I'm going to go over it. Actually, it's going to be a really good episode tomorrow. Uh, I could just show you as a guy who's been through the red pill fuck cycle, you know, for, for lack of better words, you know. Uh, and I'll show you exactly what happens in that cycle and then how you get into the cycle and uh, how you stay on it and what happens when you fall off, et cetera, et cetera. So thank you guys all. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, have a wonderful day. Get out there, make money, make muscles. And if you want to get me for a consultation, you know how to do that. Go to modernlifedating.com. And for you guys that want to get onto the Body Language Mastery Quarter 2 launch, go to modernlifedating.com. Click on the Body Language Mastery and then put in your best email address and I will be able to serve you come June 28th, 29th, June 30th, July 1st, and July 2nd. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.